friends welcome back to seek the soul the truth lies within so in this channel which is a channel for only one channel for everything which you want to get to know about it's right here right now check this out So today we're going to continue the series of how to move on easily after a breakup. So what do we do when we've gone through a breakup? Now most of you, you want that person back in your life. And most of you are crying right now. Most of you are looking at that screen of your mobile phone, waiting for that person to call you back. But it hurts when that person doesn't call you, right? So what do you do then? You might be stalking them. you might be going around where so where they go you might be checking out their place you might be going and seeing whether the light is on or not you might be thinking should i go ahead and talk to that person you might want to think of begging that person to come back into your life you might be even thinking of writing a letter to that person apologizing see stop 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 don't do all these things i'll tell you why because when you're doing all these things you're doing it from a very low energy point of view you're doing it from a very low spiritual energy the first thing first which we learn in spirituality is that whenever a breakup or whenever two souls get apart one needs to understand that maybe this is the time when it is for me to think about myself it is a time for me to become more special much more better than i had become when i met this person See whenever a relationship starts between two people it starts on a very high energy on a very higher note right everything is playing beautifully well just like a beautiful piano symphony everything is going wonderfully well and then slowly slowly each person starts depending upon the other person slowly it happens on a very slow basis just like a small snail walking by you get dependent upon each other and then you start seeking love from each other you start loving each other you start giving each other more attention and what happens is when you're doing this you stop doing one very crucial thing that is paying attention to yourself you see we are souls we are energies and we can only give not equal to god obviously because that is unconditional love we can try to do so but we can only give as much as we actually get from him So we're going to talk about a meditation process over here very soon at the end of the video. Keep on watching that because you're going to miss out something very crucial if you don't listen to that meditation. That meditation is actually going to fulfill all those holes which you are feeling right now. And those holes are not because that person is not there with you. Those holes are there because you did not take care of yourself and you disconnected yourself from the supreme being, the supreme god father. So coming back to the topic here we are focusing on these two people so when these two people are one of them is you over here is de-energized has been giving and giving and giving and giving and not getting anything in return and when you want anything in return and if you don't get it what happens you start having those fights and quarrels right that's what must have happened you start blaming each other you start looking at the flaws in each other you start bringing the ego around in which you feel that you are better than this person or maybe that other person felt that the other person is better than you that's why you broke up whatsoever it is either you were asking too much from them or you were giving too less to them or you were focusing too less on yourself because of which you were not able to give enough to the other person so what can you do right now see the first thing which you can do right now is you can hate that person but hating that person is again not letting that person go out of your mind we are talking about focusing on the self second thing which you can do is you can cry about it you can look at the pictures you can look at the photographs you can look at the all the dms you can look at your whatsapp messages you can look at your facebook and you can look at everything which you did together and you can cry about it that's again not letting you get over that person and again it's not letting you focus on to yourself so then what do you do the second thing which you can do is out of sight and out of mind so 
you can actually delete all the photographs you can delete all the facebook you can delete all the direct messages you can do that very true but here too think about one thing very carefully if you're doing that out of rage or out of hatred or out of any kind of negative emotion out of guilt out of frustration then again you're creating a memory in your mind which is going to be very difficult to be erased because now with that thought of that action of deleting is an emotion connected you see we are souls and souls work on three principles one is the mind which is the thoughts which becomes a vision the intellect which has got all the emotions in it so your thoughts are binded by your emotions and then stored into your mind and the third thing is the habit now if you want to remove that habit of remembering that person again and again and you want to come out of it then you need to of course work on this and this so the thoughts and the emotions if you think about that person if you see the things with that person you did with that person and you have any kind of rage or anger while you are deleting or even burning those things but a lot of you must have burned a lot of you must have actually burned those things already so here i'm asking you again to clean those emotions you may burn it go ahead it's okay it's fine you may even delete those dms it's okay it's fine but if you're doing it out of rage you're pressing that button you're pressing those things if you're burning things around you're tearing things around that's not the way to do it because you see three things thoughts and emotions are not letting you get over that person don't do that mistake so how do you do it then then there's a third thing that is out of mind out of sight you see there's a reverse psychology over here we think that we when we take things out of our sight only then we forget people but there's another picture over here so there's another picture over here there's another movie which is playing over here the software over here is recording everything all the data is getting recorded over here so now if you have everything in your mind how do you overcome it how do you take it out and how do you work on moving on and moving ahead in your relationships in your journal life see you might want that person back in your life i understand you are missing somebody i understand that too but you see there's a difference in the vibrations now you are on a different vibration that person is on a different vibration altogether now if you want that person together you will have to raise your vibrations or if that person was in a very low vibration you know that you are not going to come down to a lower vibration to be with that person you're already up here maybe you have to wait for that person to raise their vibrations to meet you up at this level okay on the same road on the same path so let's say you are here and that person is here you need to raise your vibrations up how do you do that that is what we are going to talk about in the next video how do you raise your vibrations so i was talking about out of mind out of sight so the only way you can conquer your mind and become powerful and you can focus again into your own life and take care of yourself so much so that you are raising your vibrations to move ahead or maybe find somebody else not see over here don't do this mistake a lot of people are doing it that is as soon as they have a breakup they just go out bang they want somebody new they want to find someone new because there's a gap which you're feeling you're feeling lonely right now so don't do that big mistake don't go out searching for people immediately as soon as you have a breakup now let me tell you something this is especially for all the listeners who are women folk all the ladies all the girls over here you see even though you are a female but i see you as a soul i see you as somebody who has a physical body as a female but you also are a being who might be feeling lonely now for a woman for if you see generally you get a lot of attention as compared to a man just because of your physical beauty you might be getting a lot of dms on facebook you might be getting a lot of dms on your whatsapp you might be having a lot of friends who are ready to be with you right now but don't do that mistake you see being beautiful being wanted by somebody being somebody who's always given attention these three things 
as a woman you need to be very careful you need to be away from these things these are big traps so the emptiness can become your vulnerability it can make you vulnerable so don't make that move of finding the next person immediately because you are in this level right now you need to raise yourself even before you meet somebody new in your life so let's do a simple meditation over here first to raise our vibrations so that we can forget that person and or we can move on to the next life pattern in which only i am the most important being only you are the most important being so let's sit down comfortably let's sit down straight with your back straight that's very important let's meditate with certain thoughts first thought is i am a very beautiful soul i am a powerful being sitting right here at the center of my forehead i as a soul am more beautiful even more beautiful than the way i look outside and the value of me as a soul is very very important i need to love myself again and i need to thank that person who came into my life and added certain values to my life that person taught me certain things in my life i came to know what all holes do i have in my ego which need to be fulfilled i need to realize that every soul who comes into my life is there to teach me something every soul i encounter in my life is a guru in some way or the other and let me be thankful with the use of humility or you then can i raise my vibrations because raising vibrations needs humility so i thank them for being in my life i thank them for all the lessons which they have taught me and i also pray that they have a beautiful life ahead they have a lovely time ahead may they be physically healthy may they be mentally stronger may they be financially very strong and may they also be someone who crosses all the difficulties which life poses in front of them so when i am raising my vibrations i need to take care of one thing i am the most important being so i first take care of my health because if i am physically healthy i am mentally strong the second thing is i need to use affirmations like I am a powerful being. I am a strong being. I came alone in this world and I have to do everything alone first. When I learn to do things alone, that's the time only then I have a value to my life. I am worthy of something and when anybody else comes to my life, when I'm independent, only then can I be somebody who can be helpful to somebody else. But if I am somebody who is not doing things alone, who doesn't know how to do things alone, I make other people as the walking stick in my life, and nobody wants to be like a walking stick in my life. So now, I focus on myself. I being the most important being, I take care of my mental health, my physical health, and I also take care of my spiritual health. I love myself again. watch my other videos in which we talk about meditation in which we talk about how thoughts affect your health in which we even share the different exercises there's a 30 minute exercise routine and there's a 15 minute exercise routine do go ahead take care of your health right now i'll see you in the next videos with few more meditations till then goodbye take care see you soon